good morning in the chapter of amalgamation which is explained in the accountancy as per accounting standard number 14 what we are going to study in this chapter we will see the meaning of the amalgamation and purchase consideration now what in my purchase consideration purchase consideration matlab the amount paid for amount paid for purchasing the business amount for paid for purchasing the business is known as purchase consideration after that we'll see the type of amalgamation there are two types merger and purchase merger means collaboration purchase means acquisition after that we'll see that what are the entries that are being going to be taken place in the books of purchaser we can follow the two methods for that number one is your pooling of interest method number two is your purchase method pooling means what is, do you mean by pooling pooling is nothing but the sharing of interest whereas purchase the when the one company is going to take over the other company in the books of vendor intercompany debts intercompany debts one company has given the loan to any other company and the two company are going to be amalgamate what is the treatment in that case intercompany stock when one company has sold goods to another company and the company are going to be amalgamate or being taken over by one company from another company now after that how the shares are being distributed to the partners who are the partners nothing but the shareholders these are the shareholders of the vendor company now what are the provisions regarding it as per companies act 2013 number one a company can compromise make arrangement with their creditors debenture holders or members or a class of creditors under section 230 231 232 these are the three sections under which the amalgamation is being discussed a company can make arrangements what type of arrangement can be made either it can reduce their share capital reorganization of share capital consolidation of shares division of shares of different classes or by both matlab consolidation matlab consolidation ka matlab ye hota hai agar hum kahe to yani aap kahe ki 10 ka ek 10 ke 10 shares ko agar hum 100 ke ek share mein convert kar dete hain that is known as consolidation division of shares ka matlab kya hota hai 100 rupees ke ek share ko 10 ke 10 shares mein convert kar diya jata hai that is known as your division of shares then amalgamation absorption is only possible if 90 percent of the shares have shareholder have given their affidavit by giving their consent that they are ready to be be a part of the new company an existing company takes over the business of one or more company to usse hum kya kehte hain jo company bechte hain usse hum kehte hain transfer company aur jo company beche khareedi aati hai usse hum kehte hain vendor company so you can write it transfer is nothing but the seller and that transfer is nothing but purchaser then as uh, per section 235 the scheme shall be approved by the holder of not less than 90 percent of value as have already been discussed the shareholder that are known as dissenting dissenting matlab they are not giving their permission to be a part of the amalgamating company those are known as your minority shareholders usko hum minority shareholder ke naam se jante hain and acquire a person a group of person becoming holder of 90 percent of issued equity share capital of a company then they shall notify the company of their intention by remaining uh, to, to buy the remaining equity share capital price is to be determined by the registered value the minority shareholder can themselves offer their shares they have to because they do not have any other option now if you're talking about uh, amalgamation uh, when a company is going to take over one uh, take over the business of two or more other companies it is called amalgamation for example a limited is going uh, a limited and b limited is forming a new company as similar c limited in which a and b dissolve and a new company c is being formed that is amalgamation in the nature of merger amalgamation can be defined in two forms one in the form of merger another in the form of purchase absorption or you can say it is purchase also or you uh, it is a purchase or amalgamation in the nature of purchase
when one company is taking over the another company <clears throat> one or more example uh, it is uh, called absorption now in this case m and n limited are existing companies want to merge into one m limited acquires the business of n limited it is an example of absorption or you can say purchase or amalgamation the nature of purchase in amalgamation adoption there is a combination of two or more company and the business are covered as per accounting standard 2014 external reconstruction nothing no company is going to be taken over the other company it is only the changing of the old company into a new one for example when x limited is transferred to new x limited no amalgamation no collaboration nothing is going to be taken place after that now we are just taking a table to help uh, to explain this in case of amalgamation when a limited and b limited are combining to form a new limit uh, that is c limited it's a best example of marriage in case of a marriage for example you can write it in case of a marriage absorption when m limited and n limited suppose m limited has taken the business of n limited so n limited is going to be dissolved only m limited will survive external reconstruction x limited is going to be changed into new x limited these all companies a limited and b limited m limited n limited x limited are known as vendor companies why vendor companies because they are selling their business and these are known as purchaser companies transfer companies or amalgamated companies why because these are purchasing the business if you are talking about the purchase consideration now what do you mean by purchase consideration purchase consideration is nothing but payment made to vendor companies are known as purchase consideration now there are mainly two methods to calculate it number one lump sum method when a lump sum amount is being given to them and the next one is your net payment method net payment method includes whatever the payment that is being made to the owners these are known as the owners of the companies or whatever the cash that is going to be paid formula for that is uh, purchase can number of sh uh, shares of x number of debentures of x issue price cash and the purchase consideration now what is x here? x is the new company that is nothing but a new company now let us take an example a limited agreed, agreed to acquire the business of e limited as on 30th 30th first december 2011 the company is having 10000 percent preference shares of rupees 10 each 20000 equity share of rupees 10 each 7% debentures now remember one thing these two are the owners of the company and the purchase consideration will be calculated out of these two whatever the debentures that are going to be paid will not be a part of the purchase consideration now it is being mentioned preference shareholders of e limited were to be allotted 8% preference shareholders of rupees 110000 it means against 1 lakh we have made a payment of rupees 110000 equity shares 20000 equity shares hai equity shares allotted to be allotted 6 equity shares of rupees 10 each issued at a premium of 10% and rupees 3 cash against every 5 shareholder uh, helps matlab 5 ke badle mein 6 share diye jaye aur इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर जितने भी हैं उनको बीस हजार इक्विटी शेयर को तीन रुपए कैश भी दिया जा रहा है नाउ सेवन परसेंट डिबेंचर्स ऑफ ई लिमिटेड टू बी पेड एट परसेंट प्रीमियम बाई नाइन परसेंट डिबेंचर्स एट डिस टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट कैलकुलेट परचेस कंजेशन नाउ रिमेंबर दिस थिंग दिस विल नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ विल नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ परचेस कंसिडरेशन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ पी ये आपके पी का पार्ट नहीं होगा Now, how will we uh, solve this question? Preference shareholders. How much preference shareholder? Earlier we are having ten thousand preference shares. हमको क्या दिया है हमने one lakh ten thousand. For whom? Preference shareholders को हम एक लाख रुपए के थे. Payment कितनी की है हमने ten thousand के premium के हिसाब से we have made a payment of rupees one lakh ten thousand. How much equity shares we are having? Twenty thousand equity shares है. और छः के बदले में हम कितने पांच के बदले में कितने shares दे हैं छः. So that is twenty thousand divided by five into six. Twenty four thousand shares are being given to them at the ten percent premium. That will become two lakh sixty four thousand. Now you can check it out. Share capital will become two lakh forty forty thousand. Premium will become twenty four thousand. How much cash is being given to them? Again, twenty thousand five hundred shares held. मतलब कहने का मतलब है यानी पांच shares को 
अगर हम देखें टोटल शेयर्स हमारे पास बीस हजार थे तो हमारे पास ब्लॉक जो बन जाएगा वो कितने का बन जाएगा ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फाइव फोर थाउजेंड इन टू थ्री इट विल बिकम ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड हाउ मच कैश इज बीन गिवन टू देम द टोटल कंसिडेशन विल बिकम थ्री लैख एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ परचेज कंसिडेशन आफ्टर दैट सेवन परसेंट डिबेंचर्स ऑफ ई लिमिटेड टू बी पेड एट परसेंट प्रीमियम डिबेंचर होल्डर्स कितने थे एक लाख अगर आठ परसेंट प्रीमियम एड कर देते तो कितना बन जाएगा एक लाख आठ हजार और इसको हमने क्या किया है दे हैव गिवन एट द डिस्काउंट नो हाउ विल वी कैलकुलेट दिस इट कैन बी कैलकुलेट इन दिस मैनर दैट इज वन लैख एट थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड रुपीज का शेयर टेन का डिस्काउंट इट विल बिकम वन लैख एट थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई नाइनटी विच विल कैलकुलेट दैट वी आर हैविंग ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डिवेंचर्स ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड ईच दैट विल बिकम वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड है एंड ट्वेल्व परसेंट का डिस्काउंट दैट इज गोइंग टू कम रुपीज वन लैख एट थाउजेंड दिस इज बट द इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द परचेज कंसिडेशन ओनली दिस विल बी द अमाउंट ऑफ परचेज कंसिडरेशन दिस विल नॉट बी ए पार्ट ऑफ द परचेज कंसिडरेशन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन यू इट्स ओके दिस इज द पेमेंट दैट इज बींग मेड बाय द परचेजिंग कंपनी टू द वेंटर कंपनी बट इट इज ओनली अगेंस्ट द डिबेंचर्स एंड डिबेंचर्स आर नॉट द ओनर्स दे आर फोर दीज आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द परचेज कंसिडरेशन टोटल पेमेंट इज बींग मेड फोर लैख नाइन्टी फोर थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ विच थ्री लैख एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड इज ओनली फॉर द परचेज कंसिडेशन एंड वन लैख एट थाउजेंड इज बींग पेड टू द डिबेंचर होल्डर्स these are the things that i have already explained to you the balance it can be accumulated 386 and liability of debenture holder are a be taken to, together with liability and discharge by e allotting its debentures to them assets taken over now we have followed the means of the payment method in this case net assets method is not being given to you after that if you are talking about as uh, means of fictitious assets or expenses since fictitious assets are always the writing of assets therefore it should not be added and general reserve funds etc which represents undistributed profit should not be deducted while calculating the purchase consideration above in the second illustration we are talking about b limited had the following balance sheet as on 31st march 2011 c is acquiring b limited now it's a question of since it is being given c limited is acquired acquiring b limited so it is a question of purchase it is not a question of collaboration it is a question of Purchase. It is being given to you. Share capital fifty thousand shares of this hundred each. Capital reserve, general reserve, unsecured loans, secured sundry creditors, provision for taxation, and other things are being given to you. Total of balance sheet is one crore seventy one lakh. Now, for the purpose of calculation, now if nothing is being mentioned, if you want to calculate the purchase consideration, payment method is not being given to you. तो हमारे पास मजबूरी में हमें नेट असेट्स मेथड फॉलो करना पड़ेगा दे आर ऑल्सो एयर्स ऑफ डेपोजिशन इन बी लिमिटेड इज रुपीज मीस नंबर फोर लैख नो हाउ विल बी कैलकुलेट फिक्स असेट्स इट इज एटी थ्री लैख एंड फोर लैख डेपोजिशन इज सब्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम दैट यू विल गेट द अमाउंट एज सेवेंटी नाइन लैख करंट असेट सिक्सटी नाइन लैख इन्वेस्टमेंट सेवेंटीन लैख टोटल असेट्स विल बिकम वन करोड सिक्सटी फाइव लैख आउट ऑफ दैट द एक्सटर्नल लाइब्रिटीज आर बींग सब्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस एक्सटर्नल लाइब्रिटीज वॉट आर द एक्सटर्नल लाइब्रिटीज नंबर वन Unsecured loans, that is rupees twenty-two lakh. Sundry creditors, rupees forty-two lakh. And then provision for taxes. Now, why provision for taxes? It's a external liability. It is always considered as external liability. What are these? These are the three are known as your external liabilities. Why? Because this taxation is being paid to the government. Total liabilities will become seventy five thousand, and the balance, that is ninety thousand, will become the amount of purchase consideration. In the next, we will talk about the general entries of vendor and purchaser. We'll also, look at the full fledged questions in the next presentation. Thank you.